Hi, my name's Tom Powers. Uh, I'm the former men's and women's basketball coach and volleyball coach at College of the Siskiyous. I've uh, been here for 40 years and been helping now since I retired two years ago, been helping with the women's basketball team with no Noel Collier, who also played for me and was my assistant for about 10 years. Educational uh, wise, I went to uh, Pleasant Valley High School in Chico. After that, I went on to Butte College to get an AA degree, uh, transferred on to Central Washington uh, University to get my BA in physical education and my teaching credential moved back to Chico and got my master's from Chico State. I'm from uh, Chico, California originally, went all through junior high, high school and at Butte College while I was there. Uh, we won every league title. When back in the olden days in high school, you couldn't win a state championship. So we went 25 and two both years my, uh, while I was at Pleasant Valley and then at Butte College we won two state championships going 59 and one. After that I traveled and signed a scholarship to Central Washington University where we went on to win the league both times and went to the national championship twice and finished second my junior year. So uh, right after that I came back to Butte College and began uh, coaching there while I was getting my master's at Chico State. While at Butte College uh, I was there five years. I was two years with the men. One year we won the league and got second in the state of California. Another, uh, then the next three years I began coaching the women's team. At that time we ended up uh, having a great team and we ended, won two league, well, one league championship and one state championship. And ironically, I ended up right before going to uh, to the state championship, I interviewed for the men's job at College of the Siskiyous. I took the job, and so right after we won the state championship Monday, I packed up my stuff and moved to College of the Siskiyous. My main job was recruiting and trying to get the program up and rolling, uh, hopefully with a, a winning record. So my first year uh, came in, and we were 11 and 14 which was an improvement and after that we won 20 for a lot of years after that and we had just tremendous success in the men's program and after 14 years of doing the men uh, I decided I was going to step back and I took a sabbatical and went to uh, Fullerton State to coach with one of my camp coaches so there I was a uh, assistant for one year and help them get a winning record and to the qualify for the national tournament. After that, I came back and I took over both the volleyball and basketball programs, women's. So I did that for the next 14 years. So I spent a lot of time in this gym and it's been just an unbelievable ride for me. I thought it was, my plan was to be here three years and move on and just one by one, something happened but I probably the main thing that kept me here were the people uh, on campus they were so supportive and we uh, I started a basketball camp when I first uh, arrived here the first year we had 20 or 30 kids then the next year was two weeks then the next year it was four weeks then we started going eight weeks and then we started taking the camp on the road we were averaging around 200 kids a week they stayed in the dorms and we had coaches from all over the place. I'm wearing a shirt for all the coaches who put in more than 10 years. So all the coaches were trying to get that. They'd get a t-shirt if they made it five years uh, to camp or the campers would also. So it was a tremendous boost to the uh, weed in, in Mount Shasta area. Plus at the time the college was having budget trouble and we brought in a lot of money to the community and to the college. So, I mean, it took me all summer. We didn't have any days off. It was seven days a week for about 10 years. So, but the coaches came back every year. They loved it. The kids loved it. I can be walking around around Northern California and somebody will come up and introduce themselves and ask me if I'm Coach Powers. So it was just, uh, if I could say one highlight of the 
most things I got accomplished here, I would probably say it was basketball camp. Despite all the wins and losses and state championships and those things, it was just helping kids from everywhere and some not that interested in basketball, but they came and had a great time. And the coaches I coached were amazing and I still keep in touch with them. And they're kind of from all over the country. So it, that was probably another huge highlight for me. When I took over volleyball, uh, it was one of those things where we we're having so many dual athletes, I figured I could come in and do a good job with that. So I ended up taking that over and we had uh, just a lot of dual athletes that came and played really well together. And like I said, they had to do a lot of traveling because between going volleyball to basketball season, it was nine, nonstop for about six months for him, so and me so it was it was a lot of work but it was so fun having two different teams and the ones who crossed over and played both and we also had some who even played three sports with softball it was uh, a hard college to find anybody who would let you do that and so we were the one that really made that happen for a lot of student athletes that wanted to go on after retiring from uh, College of the Siskiyous almost four years ago now, it's just kind of one of those things where uh, I was still wanted to play basketball. And one of the reasons I retired was so I could go play basketball all over the world still in uh, age brackets. And COVID hit, so I wasn't able to do that for two years. So now I'm back playing. but. That being said, I've been able to come back and help uh, with Coach Collier uh, with the girls team ever since. So it's been fun traveling with them and watching her grow as a coach and she's done an amazing job and it's luckily I can help her a little bit time to time with on how things go and different coaches who I still know throughout the state. So it's a, uh, like I said, she's just one of my favorites. She's like one of our family. She babysat our kids. So, you know, the Collier family and ours is are very good together. Uh, I'm still playing around the world and in the United States in uh, the Senior Masters. So we ended up getting third at Pittsburgh here this last year. We'll be traveling to uh, St. George, Utah here in another month to play there, then the following year we'll be playing in Australia. So when I was coaching the team, I, after camp, would always take a group of my buddies and would travel all over the world playing in different countries. Uh, so I said, I spent a lot of my years in the gym. If I could describe it in one way, number one, I never thought I would be at College of the Siskiyous ever. Two, I would never thought I would be here this long. My goal was always to be here three years and go to a Division I program. If I had to describe it in one word, I would say amazing. Just the people I uh, worked with, the players and student athletes and all the, my PE faculty. It's just been, uh, like I said, amazing ride. We all can get gut along and have fun, but it's really about the kids. I still pretty much uh, email or text every one of my players on their birthday. The, so that's, I keep trying to keep in touch with me as I can. We have an alumni game coming up here in another week. So that's going to be uh, fun to see some of my old players back here. And hopefully we'll get the women's program having an alumni game here in the future. So, but other than that, it's uh, been really enjoyable.